Hello again. When we recorded our last video, we promised we would come back and let you know how we were getting on with Vehicle to Grid. That's been a bit difficult up until now because we had a period from the 17th of December to the 6th of January when the dear old machine refused point blank to export anything. So here we are now. We've got the results from January and February. Um, so we can let you know a little more how it's working out for us. If we examine the export figures for the period 17th of December to 6th of January, you can clearly see that not a lot happened, other than the fact that the car was charged at the appropriate time. However, we now have all the figures right up to the end of February, so we'll scroll through our figures. Feel free to pause the video and examine them. During January, Fridays seemed to be our best exporting days, with the best day of the month being Friday 24th of January, with the car exporting 26.1 kilowatt hours. In February, Sundays replaced Fridays with our best export to date being 27.7 kilowatt hours on Sunday the 23rd. Our standard three requirements of the app are a daily schedule that is the same for every day to always have an emergency minimum of 25% in the battery, which for us is over 50 miles, and to be charged to 90% by 9am. The daily history often gives an insight into how the car has been used and how the Calusa app complies with our wishes. For example, on Thursday 20th of February, we did a fairly long trip around 150 miles and in foul weather at motorway speeds. Having started with our customary 90% charge, we returned at around 6pm with 13%. You can see, despite arriving home during peak grid usage time, the car immediately started charging up to the 25% we have set as being our minimum required state of charge. Obviously, there was nothing to send to the grid that evening, so the charger idled until the small hours of Friday 21st, when it continued to charge to our standard requirement of 90% by 9am. There are more things we would like the app to do, we have solar panels, and even in February, during daylight hours, we can be running our household and still exporting over a kilowatt to the grid. So, it would be great if the car could charge to, well, let's say 70% overnight, and then wait until there is light on our roof, and then continue to trickle charge, perhaps with Zappy Charger functionality, to balance the trickle with the excess energy that would otherwise be sent to the grid. In that way, come the evening, we could send sunlight generated electricity to the grid rather than the electricity we paid for at 2 o'clock in the morning. If Calusa were really clever, the app could use data from a service such as Dark Sky, which gives hyperlocal, hyper accurate weather forecasting, to look ahead and see how much electricity is likely to be generated by our panels during the following day. Then, tailor the overnight charge to maximise the sunlight generation the following day. All this is possible and there were ideas that we wanted to put to Ovo and Calusa when they held a webinar on the 29th of January entitled The Next Chapter for V2G How Do We Unlock Its Full Potential for Consumers and the Grid on the Road to Net Zero? 
What a snappy title. Presented by Connor Mayor Merck Williams, Head of Flexibility at Calusa, and our old friend Tom Packenham, Director of Electric Vehicles Over Energy, it was, frankly, somewhat disappointing. Despite asking for questions to be emailed in before the event, not one from us users was answered. We were not given the opportunity to speak and there was nothing radically new. A recording of that event is now available online. We'll put a link in the description below. But come on, Connor and Tom, arrange another webinar where we can ask some questions. After all, we are the people using the system. We have the experience. So all that aside, let's get to the bit you really want to know about. How has it worked out for us financially? Firstly, let's understand there are two separate systems measuring and recording the electricity to and from our home and to and from our car. The Calusa app registers the amount of electricity charging and being exported from the vehicle. The OVO smart meter records the amount of electricity being supplied to our home as a whole and from the car to the grid after some has been siphoned off to run our home in the evenings. You will never see the same figures in the Calusa app monthly summary and the OVO statements. Let's begin with January's figures. Remembering we lost a few days exporting at the beginning of the month, the Calusa app reported the energy imported to the car was 647 kilowatt hours and the exported figure was 420. So the car used 227 kilowatt hours itself. We deduct a bit for inefficiencies and we reach the conclusion that the car must have done around 650 miles during the month, which seems about right. Now let's look at the OVO figures. For ease of understanding, we have put these into a spreadsheet. For January, we were charged £161 for electricity at 14.3 pence per unit. But for some reason, we received our export credits split into two equal credits of £82.95, which means OVO paid us a total of £4.64. But remember, the car had done around 650 miles during the month. So essentially, despite an early hiatus, we enjoyed free travel. OK, let's do the same for February. In that month, Calusa reported 802 kilowatt hours delivered and 525 exported to and from the vehicle. So it comes as a surprise that we were charged just £65.45 for electricity, yet we were given an export credit of £109.90. This of course explains why our payment for February totaled only £23.74. But Calusa says the car alone used 802 kilowatt hours during the month, but OVO says only 401 were supplied to the house. OK, so something has obviously gone wrong there. And the answer may lie in looking at our usage graph from OVO, where there is a gap from the 10th of February to the 25th. I'm sure we'll receive another correction bill at some point. So as you can see, all in all, it's been really difficult to work out exactly what has been happening. But let's remember, this is a trial. We're all guinea pigs, we all signed up for it. It's a great forward-looking experiment, and this video is part of it. I'm sure we'll be back again. In the meantime, if OVO and Calusa do schedule another webinar, we'll make a quick video to let you know. Please comment, like, subscribe, let us know how your experience has been.